Hello Bomb Bakers and welcome back to my channel. You're with Nicole and if you're new here I share lots of delicious homestyle recipes as well as baking tips and tricks. Today we're going to be making a really beautiful avocado chocolate cake. Get excited, it's absolutely delicious and I can't wait to share this recipe with you. So let's get to it! I have some really ripe avocados that I need to use up before they go off and I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to use those avocados. Normally I'd use them in something a bit more savory like a guacamole or something to do with Mexican but I felt like having a chocolate cake so this is perfect time to use these avos. So let me show you what you are going to need. We have one and a half avocados here, some vanilla essence some cocoa powder, some eggs, this is soy milk here, then we have coconut cream, all-purpose flour, coconut sugar, and baking powder. Now this is just the recipe for the cake itself. I'm going to be showing you how to do the frosting a little later, so make sure you stay watching for the frosting recipe as well. As always, I will leave all of the ingredients in the description box below and for the full recipe to download and print for free, head to thebombaker.com. A couple of other things that I'll be using today and one of them is my blender. And if you don't have a blender using hand electric beaters is fine as well. I've also got a cake tin here, which I just lined with some parchment paper and sprayed with a little bit of oil. Uh, and then I've just got a spoon and a spatula. That's it. So I've just lined it here with a bit of parchment paper and sprayed it with a bit of oil. And if you want to know how to do that, I do have a video up on my channel about how to line some different types of baking tins. So make sure you check it out and I'll leave it up here as well. You will also need to turn on your oven to a moderate temperature, 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So I have divided my ingredients here by what I'm going to blend first and what I'm going to add a little bit later. So to start with, we're going to blend our avocado, our milks here, so the soy milk, the coconut cream, and then the eggs, the cocoa powder, and a little bit of vanilla essence. So let's go ahead and do that now. So this chocolate avocado cake has a really fudgy kind of texture to it. It's not a sponge-like texture as you might find in other recipes. One more thing, I'm not going to use the skin, it's just going to be the flesh of the avocado. Locked in. All right, so we're going to blend this now until it's nice and smooth. We want to get rid of any of those avocado lumps and you may have to stop and just scrape down the sides halfway. Okay, so you can probably see the little avocado lumps here along the side. So that's what we're going to scrape down now. Great, so lid back on and keep blending. I'm just gonna do mine one more time before I start adding some of those other dry ingredients. Okay, I think it's ready, come have a look. I 
I think that this mixture looks really nice now. It's really smooth and creamy and looks absolutely fantastic. There may be some very small uh, granulated pieces of avocado and that's okay as long as there's not those big chunks that you can see in the mix. So now we can go ahead and add in our flour, coconut sugar and our baking powder. Give this a little whiz until it's combined. I'm just going to pulse this one to avoid a flour bomb. Scrape down those sides one last time, give it a quick whiz and then it's ready. Looks awesome. So this can go straight into your cake tin now and we'll just pour it all in and then into the oven. I'm going to scrape out all of this batter and then we can bake. All right, looks great. I'm just going to give this a little tap on the bench here just to flatten out that mixture, make it nice and even. Let's bake it. Straight into the oven on a moderate temperature. It's perfect time now to clean up your dishes and then we can come back and do our frosting. Clean up took a little bit longer than expected but we're here now and I'm ready to show you the frosting. So for the ingredients, come check them out. We have some melted dark chocolate, We've also got some soy milk, cocoa powder, coconut sugar and another avocado. Everything just needs to go back into the blender whiz it up and then we have our beautiful frosting. So I'll start with the avos, get them in. And again, we're just using the flesh, not the skin. I just melted my dark chocolate in the microwave as well. I find it's the easiest way and I just do it in 30 second increments so I don't burn it. Let's mix this until it's smooth. You'll need to scrape down those sides again. Blend it again. There we go, super easy. So it's really just Scraping down, blending it, scraping down, blending it, and in no time at all, you'll have a beautiful frosting. And this frosting is optional. You don't have to do it, but seriously, what's a cake without frosting? It's the best part. I can smell it, the cake is ready. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's risen really nicely, and I can tell it's cooked because when I press the top of it, it just springs back like a little nice bounce back. So now we have to let the cake cool in the tin. We can clean up after our frosting and we can get this beautiful frosting into a bowl so that it's ready to ice our cake later. I took my cake out of the oven after about 32 minutes as well. So yours will probably need between that 30 and 35 minutes. Oh, look at that beautiful icing here. It's gonna be so delicious. So if you're a chocolate and avocado lover, I do have a video as well up on my channel about how to make chocolate mousse. It's absolutely delicious and it uses the beautiful avocados again. 
It's time to ice this bad boy. So I've just got a cake stand here that I want to serve my cake on. I'm just going to move over the tin here. Take it out, just unlatch that little spring handle on the side and lift it up. Yay, there we go. Looks great. Looks absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to get this onto our stand here. So there's a little bit of um, tin underneath. So I'm just gonna scoop that out now. And now we just have to get it off the parchment paper. So I'm just going to get a spatula here and get that underneath and just help to shimmy it off and scoop it. Just lift it slightly, get it out from underneath and then place it back down in the center. Whew, we did it. Oh, how beautiful does it look? It looks so nice. A gorgeous avocado chocolate cake. Let's get the icing on this ASAP because I need a piece to eat. It looks too good. So I'm just going to spoon this on top. Get a lot of it. Maybe leave a little bit. And all you need to do is smooth that out. We're gonna keep this looking really nice and rustic, but kind of smooth it out so that it meets all of the sides. I'm just going to scoop out this last bit here, put it in the center. Might as well use it all up. There's no point keeping any extra. Plus everyone likes extra frosting. Continue to spread out this beautiful avocado chocolate frosting in a really nice rustic way. And I'm just gonna make a little flower here in the center. And the best part about frosting is that if you don't like your little pattern that you've done on the cake, just kind of wipe it over and start again. Let's cut it. So excited. Now this cake is quite dense in the middle and it's gonna look a little bit fudgy and moussey and that's perfect. Oh yeah, really like that frosting. The cake has a really nice flavor to it. The avocado has a really soft undertone and the chocolate's not too rich or overpowering. It's absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today and baking with me this beautiful chocolate avocado cake. I really hope you like this recipe and make sure if you do that you give me a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell because I have a new video coming out every single week. Thanks again, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.